Welcome. The subject of this video is window comparators. I'm your host, Lewis Laughlin. Please be sure to visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. In my earlier video on basic comparators, we learned that a comparator is simply an op amp with no feedback that the relationship between the plus input and the minus input will turn the output either all the way on or all the way off. In this application we will use two comparator circuits in tandem to give us a result or output that is between two voltage levels and not above it and not below it. Let's look first at a live video of the circuit wired up and in action. All right, what we have pictured here is a demonstration window comparator circuit. A comparator is a device that when an analog voltage on the input exceeds reference voltage, it will output a high or a low depending on its construction. A window comparator instead will output a voltage uh, in a, within a range from one, the beginning of one voltage to the end of the other, not just all on past a certain point. Notice the little voltmeter reading thing here. This is an LM358 dual op amp, and that's just a potentiometer. So watch the output LED here as I move through the range. You notice that it's on at a little over 4 volts. It will stay on oh, to a little bit over 8 volts. This is a 12 volt circuit. Alright, let's go back again when it's below a certain uh, set voltage, in this case around 8.1 or so, or 2. It will stay on. Let's go all the way back down to about four. And it goes off about 4.2 or 4.1. And again, that's what it does. It should output within a voltage range. What could you use this for? Um, very simple, a comparator is used to connect the digital world to the analog world. And so this would enable a microcontroller to know that a voltage is within a certain range and doesn't it, and it can either cut something on or off at the end of the range. It's, uh, it's up to you, whatever you decide to do. Let's uh, look at the schematic and see how this operates from this electronic viewpoint. Here is the exact circuit that you saw being demonstrated in the video a few moments ago. Other than I'm using a motor in the diagram instead of an LED, it works identical. What we have here is a voltage divider using three 10K resistors. Test point two up here is at 8 volts, and it's on the plus input of the upper comparator. And we have 4 volts on the minus input of the lower comparator. And the plus and the minus of the two comparators are tied together back to a 10K pot. So what did we have happening? Let's explain this first, that I adjusted my 10K pot for 3 volts. Let's look at our upper comparator first, and they are constructed from LM358 op amps. You will notice that the minus input is less than the positive input, so the comparator is turned off. There's no voltage output. Q1 is turned off because there's no base bias voltage, 
and if by itself this 10K resistor would have had 12 volts on the collector. But down here we have to look at our lower comparator. All right, in this case, the minus input is greater than the 3 volts on the positive input, so I'm going to output 12 volts. It's going to forward bias Q2 and create a current flow from collector to emitter, and thus you're going to have essentially zero volts. And there will be no voltage going into Q3, which means the motor or LED will be turned off. So again, the upper comparator is turned off at 4 volts. The lower comparator is turned on, turns on Q2, which helps turn off Q3. The motor doesn't run. Okay, now I have adjusted my 10K potentiometer for 6 volts, and here is our voltage relationships. In the upper comparator, the minus input is still less than the positive input, and thus no output, Q1 is off, and is going to be pulled high by the uh, 10K resistor to 12 volts. That is assuming the lower comparator is turned off. In this case, the 6 volts on the positive input is higher than the voltage on the negative input, so the lower comparator is also turned off. It leaves Q2 turned off, so now we're going to have the voltage climb on these two open circuit collectors, which will bias on Q3, and thus the motor will run. Again, both comparators have to be turned off together to get the motor to run. Okay, in this slide, I have adjusted my 10K potentiometer to produce 9 volts. Referring to our upper voltage comparator, the minus input is now greater than the positive input at 8 volts, and thus we output 12 volts, which biases on Q1 and shunts the voltage and current from the 10K pull-up resistor to ground. This automatically kills Q3, turning off the motor. doesn't matter what the condition of the lower comparator is. The motor is already shut off. But looking at our lower comparator, the positive input is still greater at 9 volts than the 4 volts on the negative input, and thus it's turned off and Q2 is turned off, but it doesn't matter. As long as one or the other, Q1 or Q2, is turned on, it will kill the output to the motor. All right, in this slide, I have used two of the comparators available in the LM339, which is a quad comparator chip. It has four complete comparators, and I used two. Same voltage divider network, same potentiometer, same electrical connections on plus and minus on the uh, comparators themselves, except I have an external LED and a 1K resistor, and I happen to hook this to 5 volts. As you notice in the earlier slides, I had the output transistor connected to 24 volts. And that's the nice part about open output collectors, is you don't have to run whatever your, whether it's an indicator or a control circuit or whatever out here, it can be a different voltage than what's actually operating the comparator. Okay, Lewis, why did you go through all the business with the um, earlier comparators using op amps? Well, it was to show you really what is internally in these circuits. Here is an internal functional diagram of each comparator within the LM339 and also the LM393 which only has two comparators. Again we have an op amp. This would have been Q1 or Q2 and this would have been 
the open collector output transistor that you saw earlier. There's my pull up, there's my voltage pull up resistor that went back to 12 volts in the earlier circuit. And this is my current limiting resistor in the base of the uh, driver transistor. The only difference was in my circuit is I duplicated everything but this, but I tied the, uh, I only used one pull up resistor, tied both collectors Q1 and Q2 together, and used a common output transistor. But same thing. We have an op amp and we have an open collector output transistor through a driver transistor. And the good part about using these is you can switch more power on and off using this configuration than you can with an op amp. Op amps are pretty low current devices as where I can step up the current immensely like that TIP120 I used could switch a couple of amps. You won't switch that with an op amp. So this finishes our um, introduction to window comparators. I hope the, the video was useful and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. We got more coming, so keep checking.